Habar Gunny, Grateful Gas family. Habar Gunny, um, Ujima. It's the principal day for the third day of Kwanzaa, and it represents collective responsibility. Um, about to get directly into the daily verse for the day of December 28, 2022. It derives from the book of First Timothy. I mean, excuse me. It derives from the book of Second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9, and it states as follows. Who hath saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Jesus Christ before the world began. And again, it's from the book of Second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9. And um, for Wellness Wednesday this morning, I'll be receiving my information from mayoclinic.org. Um, mayoclinic.org has been a reliable source for me for, um, you know, a lot of my Wellness Wednesday episodes. And, I, and again, I like their information. It's very thorough and um, very informative. So again, um, for Wellness Wednesday topic this week, uh, we'll, I'll be going over traumatic brain injuries, um, the severity of them, um, the causes, the things we need to be able to look out for, all these type of things, um, the short-term effect and the long-term effect it has on individuals, and the severity of being on top of, um, you know, going following up with your brain injuries and things of that nature. So, again, I received this information from mayoclinic.org, and I'm about to get re- directly into it. Traumatic brain injury usually results from a violent blow or jolt to the head or body. An object that goes through your brain tissue, such as a bullet or shattered piece of skull, can also cause traumatic brain injuries. Mild traumatic brain injury may affect your brain cells temporarily. More serious traumatic brain injuries can result in bruising, torn tissues, bleeding, and other physical damage to the brain. These injuries can result in long-term complications or death. Symptoms. Traumatic brain injuries can have wide-ranging physical and psychological effects. Some signs or symptoms may appear immediately after the traumatic event, while others may appear days or weeks later. Mild traumatic brain injuries. The physical symptoms for mild traumatic brain injuries include headache, nausea or vomiting, fatigue or drowsiness, problems with speech, dizziness, or loss of balance. Sensory, sensory symptoms um, such as blurred, blurred vision, ringing in the ears, a bad taste in the mouth, or changes in the ability to smell. Sens- sensitivity to light or sound. Cognitive, behavior, or mental symptoms. Loss of consciousness for a few seconds to a few minutes. No loss of consciousness, but a state of being dazed, confused, or disoriented. Memory or concentration problems, mood changes or mood swings, feeling depressed or anxious, difficulty sleeping, and sleeping more than usual. Moderate to severe traumatic brain injuries. Moderate to severe traumatic brain injuries can include any of the signs and symptoms of mild injuries, as well as these symptoms that may appear within the first hours to days after a head injury. Physical symptoms, loss of consciousness from several minutes to hours, persistent headache or headache that worsens, repeated vomiting vomiting or nausea, convulsions or seizures, dilation of one or both pupils of the eyes, clear fluids draining from the nose or ears, inability to awaken from sleep, weakness or numbness in fingers and toes, Loss of coordination. Cognitive or mental symptoms. Profound confusion. Agitation. Combativeness or or other unusual behavior. Slurred speech. Comas and other disorders of, of consciousness. Children's symptoms. Infants and youth. Infants and young children with brain injuries might not be able to communicate headaches, sensory problems, confusion, and similar symptoms. In a child with traumatic brain injuries, you may observe changing changing eating or nursing habits, unusual or easy irritability, persistent crying and ability to be consoled, 
change in ability to pay attention, change in sleep habits, seizures, sad or depressed moods, drowsiness, loss of interest in favorite toys or activities. When should you see a doctor? Always see a doctor if you or your child have received a blow to the head or body that concerns you or causes behavior changes. Seek emergency medical care if there are any signs or symptoms of traumatic brain injuries following a recent blow or other traumatic injury to the head. The terms mild, moderate, and severe are used to describe the effect of the injury on brain function. A mild injury to the brain is still a serious injury that requires prompt attention and an accurate diagnosis. Causes Traumatic brain injury is usually caused by a blow or other traumatic injury to the head or body. The degree of damage can, be, can depend on several factors, including the nature of the injury and the force of the impact. Common events causing traumatic brain injuries include falls, vehicle-related collisions, violence, sports injuries, explosive blasts, and other combat injuries. Um, especially like in the sports, you know, um, we've been seeing this a lot. This is what really made me get on this subject. Uh, we've been seeing this a lot with Tua and um, just the history of like football, boxing, football players, boxing, um, athletes, all these type of physical impact sports over the years and how it has caused um, traumatic brain injuries and how a lot of them have, you know, lost their minds and lost their abilities and ways to be able to think for themselves because they've, they haven't had their brain injuries treated or they just, you know, they, oh, I'm tough. I'm going to fight through it. I'm going to fight through it. And they continue to harm themselves. Um, so that's why, again, I would really recommend for Tua uh, Tagovailo, um to be able to just just put fo- football down, man. You know, you, he's had multiple concussions in this season alone and they've been severe and they've been um, very unpleasant sightings um, from his impacts and immediate response from his body and everything. So, um, I would definitely recommend y'all to take this stuff seriously, man, because this is life or death. And I understand you might enjoy things you do um, currently at that time, but you got to think about your longevity. And um, if you plan to be able to live in your 50s and 60s and, and so forth and so on, your brain is going to play a big part in, in your in your overall health of your body. So risk factors. The people most at risk of traumatic brain injuries include Children, especially newborns to four years old, young adults, especially those between ages 15 and 24, adults ages 60 and older, and males in any age group. Complications. Several complications can occur immediately or soon after traumatic brain injuries. Severe injuries increase the risk of a greater number of and more severe complications. And the complications they... Um, subgroup them as alter, altered consciousness. And um, these things can be uh, moderate to severe traumatic brain injuries can result in these prolonged or permanent changes in the person's state of consciousness. And they go from comas to vegeta- vegetative state, uh, minimally conscious state, and brain death. So again, um, moderate to severe traumatic brain injuries can cause these type of complications in your life. Um, physical complications can be considered as seizures, fluid buildup in the brain, infections, blood vessel damage, headaches, vertigo, and um, things of that nature. So sometimes any or several of these symptoms might linger for a few weeks to a few months after a traumatic brain injury. So traumatic brain injuries are excuse me, traumatic brain injuries at the base of the skull can cause nerve damage to the nerves that emerge directly from the brain. Cranial nerve damage may result in paralysis of facial muscles or losing sensation in the face, loss of altered, loss of or altered sense of smell or taste, loss of vision or double vision, swallowing problems, dizziness, ringing in the ears, and hearing loss. Intellectual problems. Many people who have who have had a significant brain injury will experience changes in their thinking skills. It may be more difficult to focus and take longer to process your thoughts. Traumatic brain injury can result in problems with many skills, including 
cognitive problems, memory, learning, reasoning, judgment, attention, or concentration, executive functioning problems, problem solving, multitasking, organization, planning, decision making, being, beginning, or completing tasks. Communication problems. Language and communication problems are common following traumatic brain injuries. Communication problems may include difficulty understanding speech or writing, difficulty speaking or writing, inability to organize thoughts and ideas, trouble following and participating in conversations. Communication problems that affect social skills may include trouble with turning, taking, or topic selection in conversations, problems with changing in tone, pitch, or emphasis to express emotions, attitudes, or subtle differences in meanings, difficulty understanding nonverbal signals, trouble reading cues from listeners, trouble starting or stopping conversations, and inability to use the muscles needed to form words. Behavior changes. People who've experienced brain injury may include, may, may, excuse me, may experience changes in behavior. These may include difficulty with self-control, lack of awareness of abilities, risky behaviors, difficulty in social situations, verbal or physical outbursts. Emotional changes may include depression, anxiety, mood swings, irritability, lack of empathy for others, anger, and insomnia. Sensory problems include persistent, persistent ringing in the ears, difficulty recognizing objects, impaired hand-eye coordination, blind spots or double vision, a bitter taste, a bad smell, or difficulty smelling, skin tingling, pain or itching, trouble with balance or dizziness. All right. So, again, man, um, this is information I received from mayoclinic.org. And, again, I would definitely recommend for individuals to, to take um, traumatic brain injury series but uh, because, again, of all the different effects and all the different ways they can um, – take a toll on your body and affect you in all these different forms um, from physical to mental to even, um, again, just your motor, motor skills, um, motor skill attributes. You know what I mean? All those things could be in effect and be at play with traumatic brain injuries. So again, man, you know, if you've seen any of these symptoms in your, in your, your children and, and individuals around you, if you're, um, if you're athletic, um, professionals and you see your friends around you and they continue to get brain injuries and things like uh, of that nature, you know, um, influence your, influence your partners and influence your, your buddies to, you know, I know you love the game or I know what you love to do with your life, man, but you got to be able to understand if you want to live your life long and live it healthy, we got to be able to take care of our brain. Our brain is one of the, really the most important organs, um, of our body, even though everything works together, but our brain even gives us the ability to be able to Think about this subject and, and spread it out to the world and give speech and just give thought about other people. You know, all that, all that starts with our brain, getting out of bed, all the movements we don't even think about. You know, the things we do without even thinking about doing, our brain controls that. And uh, we have to be able to take care of ourselves. So, again, it's a very important. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Share this with your friends. Um, y'all can check me out on all major podcast platforms. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor any major podcast platform. Check out my YouTube channel, um, Great For Gap Podcast. Like, come and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Um, all that good stuff, man. I really appreciate y'all, again, for the individuals out there who are battling um, TBIs and things of that nature. May y'all keep fighting. Don't, don't give up on yourself. And um, let's continue to put our health, health first, um, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all be blessed out there. Check, check, check out um, my Great For Gap Sports Huddle with myself and my co-host Frankie Fly tomorrow here on the Grateful Gap podcast. Um, we most likely will have a video posted up there. Um, y'all go check out my Kwanzaa video, my Kwanzaa history video. I uploaded that yesterday to YouTube. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I um, upload some videos, all that good stuff. But I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Again, um, the, the principal for Kwanzaa today is Ujima. 
Ujima collective work and responsibility. Um, so strive to be able to um, come together with individuals around you and y'all trying to complete a task. Um, just, you know, find out how y'all can complete it together and come together to, to work together. And uh, we have to find responsibility, you know, take accountability for our actions and be responsible for um, the things we do in our community and the roles we play in our society and, and our responsibilities to better ourselves and, and, the one, and one another and individuals, and individuals around us. Um, but I love y'all. Y'all be blessed out there. Until next time, y'all. Peace.